We begin our coverage of the vice president's visit with News 19's Mike Beermeister, who spoke with two candidates for office on hand today who are also farmers and who had two very different reactions to Mike Pence's words on trade. Vice President Mike Pence making his statement very clear at Friday's roundtable discussion. We leveled the playing field for American Dairy. Pence touted the newly signed USMCA trade agreement that he believes will open more doors and trade opportunities for Wisconsin dairy farmers. We predict within six years the United States is actually going to increase our exports by 50,000 metric tons of milk, 12,000 metric tons of cheese, 10,000 metric tons of cream, and the list goes on. Republican congressional candidate and farmer Derek Van Orden agreeing with the vice president, seeing the trade deal as a chance for American farmers to compete in North America. It's going to be impactful where they're going to have to raise their prices. The, the Canadian farmers are going to have to compete on a level playing field, and that's going to start six months from now. On the other side of the aisle, Democratic Assembly candidate and organic farmer Tucker Gretebeck sees the outlook of the industry in a different light. Subsidies, you know, millionaires are, are getting more money. You know, that's the farm owners that, you know, are already multimillionaires. In a lot of cases, you know, it's not directed at a small farms. Both candidates hoping that they can shape dairy farmers' lives for the better in western Wisconsin come November. At Morningstar Dairy Farm, Mike Biermeister, News 19. Greta Beck will face Josephine Janes in the August primary with the winner challenging incumbent Republican Lauren Oldenburg in the 96th district. As for Van Orden, he faces off against Jesse Eben in the Republican primary for the chance to take on Congressman Ron Kind. 